Hey guys, Apple here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're not doing an intro, we're not doing a speeder. I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys. Um, I've, I've, I'm feeling like super generous, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you guys how to do something. Um, so as you can see in here, I'm in Cinema 4D, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it, if you probably can read in the title, but I'm gonna be teaching you how to make smooth bends on the FMR. It's gonna come up on your screen right now. So it's gonna look from sharp bends to smooth bends. But before I teach you anything, guys, if you could smash that like button, it'd be so much appreciated. It would motivate me to keep making great content for you guys, because these videos do take a lot of time to create for you guys. Um, but and also if you want some more tutorials comment down below and comment what you want me to do um, So yeah, this is gonna be a cinema 4d tutorial. So I have r16, but you can pretty much use any version um, That supports the fmr. So yeah, let's do this Okay, so right in here as you can see if I go if you need fmr Bam, that's super sharp edges. I don't want, let's say I don't like sharp edges, I want smooth edges. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. I'm gonna teach you how to make them really well. So what's gonna happen is the first thing, you, the very, very, very first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your layers panel and you wanna unlock the body just by pressing that little lock thing on the 5.0 body. Bam, then you wanna go inside of here, go inside of your, or go inside the FMR, go inside the mesh, and bam, you got all these things. Um, I'm for the sake of the tutorial and not keeping it super long. I'm only gonna be smooth bending the left arm right here. But obviously, if you're gonna make a smooth bends rig or whatever, you're gonna do it to the arms and the legs or whatever else you. I don't think there's anything else you can really do because the body's already smooth. But anyways, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. So basically, the easiest thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to open up. You're gonna open up your um. Yeah, the limb you're using, I'm using the arm the arm left in my case. I'm going to open that up. And then the second thing you want to go is, do is you want to go in your layers down here. And see this little, uh, and the 5.0 hidden, there's this little thing that's not highlighted and everything else is. Basically, that's what makes the, all the layers that are inside of that uh, layer thing. And, um, it makes it hidden. So that's why it's called 5.0 hidden. Ha ha ha. Funny jokes. Okay. So all you want to do is just... Let's click that so it becomes uh, highlighted and then as you can see a whole bunch of things are gonna pop up um, So bam all these things are gonna pop up, but make sure you can see all of them because it's gonna be handy um, So basically basically all the mesh things are gonna have this except some of the body things But this thing right here this um, uh, Pose morph thing It's basically the second one in this little line for all of them and yeah, it's all basically what you want to do is you want to click on that and then you're going to have some of these settings here. You're going to have Ben 1, Ben 2, and Fingers. What you want to do is there's check marks on the side of them. Uncheck the Ben 2 and the Ben 1. Keep Fingers checked though. And then what you want to do is you want to go into the Ben thing that's inside of that. Click on that. And see right here on the sizes, you got 25 centimeters, 0 centimeters, and 25 centimeters. Basically, you want the 0 centimeters, the one in the middle, make that 25. Bam, just like that. And already, you guys can see, you got pretty smooth bends. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of rough though. They're pretty uh, rugged. As you can see, it's not super smooth. If I zoom in here, it's not super smooth. It's kind of got these little, like, r little uh, uh, rugged edges. So we don't want that. We want it super smooth, like a perfect curve. And to do that, we're gonna just use a uh, subdivision. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go up here, up to my little taskbar up here, and I'm gonna go hold on that and do subdivision surface. Surface. Um, if if you're, I think you're if you're below R15 or 14, it's gonna say hypernerves or something like that. But it's basically that icon. I'm pretty sure it's the same icon for all the uh, newer, new it, newish versions. So just click on that, and it's gonna pop up right here. Um, and basically, all you gotta do is you gotta parent the uh, whatever limb you're doing. In my case, the left arm. You gotta parent that to the subdivision. And to do that, I'm just gonna grab it, 
uh, or click on it and hold and drag it up till you see that little down arrow over the subdivision and just unclick and bam, it's all parented. So now as you can see, the, the uh, arm is, or whatever limb you're using is now inside of the subdivision. And you could probably tell that now the, uh, the bends are smoother, so that's without it, that's with it, without it, with it. So it's really, really smooth, but some of you guys, I know I personally, uh, I don't know, you can literally leave it right here and have super smooth bends and then voila, you're done. But, like, honestly, I do not like how smooth it is. Like, obviously, you can kind of, like, change the subdivisions to, like, one so it's less, but, you know, that's that's stupid. And then it doesn't really become super, um, uh, curvish, smooth, that's the word, I forgot the word. Um, so, obviously, you can keep it like that if you like it like that. But if you use, if you put a subdivision on each and every limb that you want to do, it looks really weird. I don't really, I really don't like it. So basically, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is I'm going to teach you how to make smooth bends like that, but it's going to be on an arm like this. So it's kind of, it's still like the normal arm, but instead of having sharp bends, it's going to have smooth bends like that. So yeah, I th I think it looks really nice. Um, so basically, I keep saying basically. I'm sorry. <laughs> But what you, to do that, we're basically going to, oh, I just said basically again, we are going to uh, weight the subdivision. Um, to do that, uh, so weighting means, um, it kind of, it means basically, uh, I actually have no clue how to describe this, but it basically means you're going to, ah, crap, I don't know how to explain it, but eh, whatever, I'm going to just teach you how to do it. So, actually, I'm actually going to name this subdivision to keep things nice and tidy. I'm going to name it arm L for arm left. Just to, like, if I have, obviously, it's really easy to tell that's the arm left. But if you have more than one and you keep them all subdivision and you have them all closed, you have no freaking clue which one is what. So, keep things easy. I'm just going to rename it to arm L. And so, we're going to start waiting it now. So, what you have to do, actually, I'm going to go back to my layers and make 5.0 hidden just to make things easier to see. Um, you're gonna go to your mesh, not the subdivision, you wanna go to the actual, the arm mesh. You wanna right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and go down until you find Subdivision Surface Weight. Click on it, and it's gonna come up in your tags. Um, as, as you can see, it's gonna, like, completely destroy your textures, and you're gonna be like, no, what the hell happened? But if you just unclick, they're still there. So, that's basically the weighting system. Um, uh, the best uh, it's gonna be all blue for you but what we're gonna do is we're gonna weight the edges cuz the e what we want to fix are the edges so the edges aren't smooth but the bend's still smooth um, so I'm just gonna weight the edges so that it becomes the edges come super um, sharp like this like a for uh, an acute angle not a cute angle like a, an angle Jesus I'm sorry um, so what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna go back to our subdivision surface and actually no let me explain this uh, it's gonna be all blue for you and basically how weighting works is like this this is we're doing really simple weighting but um, I'm just gonna explain it the easiest way I can well think of it as blue means cold and red is what's gonna happen when we weight it it's gonna means hot so basically blue means like cool like you, when you the cool means unweighted and hot means um, weighted, so you know, like cool, hot, or you can just call it red and blue. I don't really care, but that's that's how I'm gonna explain it. So what you gotta do is you gotta select the subdivision surface, or just click on it. You don't need to hold shift or anything, but just click on the mesh too, and then it's gonna come up with some white crap. And what you have to do then, actually, it makes things easier. I'm gonna make make the position an X and Y to 62.5. And what's that's what that's gonna do is it's gonna like stick the arm out so you can select stuff more easier um, so now that I'm gonna select that again select the arm mesh too and then I'm gonna go into as you can see over here you got your five or six main uh, modes right here so you got the your main one your model mode which is like the main one to move stuff you got if you don't extrude you got this polygon mode which will allow you to extrude stuff uh, but the mode we want right now is the edges mode, huh? Because we're gonna weight the edges, so that's gonna be helpful. Um, you just want to select edge, and what's that's gonna do? 
is you're gonna it's gonna make it so you can select edges. Um, all of it's gonna blue. All of it's gonna be blue, and when you select stuff, it's gonna become orange. So basically, what you want to do is you want to you what the gist of what we're trying to do is we're gonna select all of the edges, but instead of going one by one and selecting them with shift, I want to make life a lot easier and go to your uh, loop selection tool. And to do that, you want to press U on your keyboard and then press L on your keyboard. Um, so what that's going to do is going to kind of loop the selection. So if I have it here and we select that point, it's going to loop around. As you can see, it's going to loop around that whole edge. Um, that's, that I use that's also a super helpful way to extrude, but that's not really how. That's not the tutorial today. Um, so what's this going to? What we're going to do now? is I'm going to select that and while holding sh as you can see it becomes orange and while holding shift I'm select I'm going to select all of the edges so all of the edges now become orange because they're selected leave the inside parts um uh leave the inside parts parts selected and even if they're orange you want to select the edges because right here you want to make sure that the insides are still orange so yeah, I'm just going to check really quick. Everything, all the edges are orange. And then what you want to do once you have all your edges selected, you want to go to your live selection tool, click on that. And then on like on your options down here, you want to go to subdivision surface, click on that little tab thing. And then you're going to have your make the mode set, which should be default for you guys. And then you're going to have your strength. It mine starts at 100. Sometimes it'll start at zero. Sometimes it'll start at uh, 50. I don't know. But basically what you want to do is you want to make the strength to 100. So uh, mine's already at 100. And then I just want to press set. So set, bang. And then as you can see, it's now red. So it's hot as I explained it before. So the edges are now like uh, weighted, but the insides aren't. So what that's going to do is it gonna, it's going to, well, as you can see, it's now smooth or it's now sharp. Because if I press Control Z, as you can see, this the the subdivision is still like subdividing the things to try to make it smooth. But if I set that, bang, it now becomes all right angles. So to show that again, it's smooth and set. It's now sharp. Um, so it, yours should look like this. It doesn't the for you depending on what version you have. Uh, it might be more red. It might be less. Might it might not even be red. I'm pretty sure it should be, but um, I think maybe R12 might not be, but I don't know. It should be, I don't know, but you're going to want it to look like this. You're going to want to make sure you have all of the edges red and the insides are all blue. And if you messed up, don't worry. Let's just say I accidentally selected this point here. You just want to press Control Z, hold Control and unselect it. Like, let's just say I have a point selected there by accident. You just want to hold Control and just click on that so it unselects. And then again, just set it. So bam, that's legit all that there is to it. You want to go back to your model mode and bam, it's now sharp. As you can see, they're not, it's not smooth because of the subdivision anymore. Let's put that back down to, nope, oops, my bad. Let's put the arms back down to zero or not to put the subdivision back down. Oh, I know why I'm stupid. Sorry, right, my bad. Don't hurt me. The controller back down to zero. So and bam just like that you ready for this guys it is now has sharp edges but the bend is still super super smooth and yeah i think it looks super super nice guys um and so yeah there's like the sharp bends and there is the smooth bend also a thing to keep note when you are extruding if you because anything that has a subdivision surface on it when you extrude, let's just, let me go extrude like the part of the, like the shirt really quick. Uh, really, really quickly. Um, and then I press extrude, one second, go to 1.5. Okay, so anything that you extrude with the subdivision is gonna have these super ugly weird angles. As you can see that thing's like super weird. Uh, it's not like the normal extrusions where in my, like when you're extruding, I mean, some people may like that, but it kind of looks like a, like a blob. It doesn't really look like it's popping out. So what the, all you got to do to fix that is you want to uh, click on your arm. You're going to go back to your uh, polygon mode. You want to press control A on your keyboard to select all of the poly polygons. You want to right click, go to your knife tool, which is right here. 
go make the mode on the knife options make that instead of the line put it to loop and then you just want to go to the you just want to go to the edges that are really weird looking and then just hold you just want to click and as you can see i already kind of fixed a lot of it um you just want to kind of go around i'm not going to be teaching you how to be doing this in full depth because there are many tutorials on how to like use the knife tool and stuff but yeah that's basically all you have to do go around the thing and just try to um uh make this so it's not like a blob um i'm there if you still look super confusing to you there's just search up cinema 4d um uh, uh knife extru or like knife cutting and stuff that don't search that up but as you can see i already fixed the extrusions and it still works perfectly with the super smooth bends so yeah that's 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 my tutorial for you guys um I, if, if you like if it helped you out a lot guys um make sure to smash that like button keeps me motivated and yeah i think it looks really really good and uh, i mean some people obviously you don't even need to do the waiting part like i can just completely destroy delete that i don't know never mind i can't do that because <laughs> i already waited it but um i can you don't even have to do the weighted part if you like the like the subdivision thing i i know a lot of people don't but let's just say you do it does fix it does make the bend super smooth but um if you if you like the edges like that then just keep it like that but i personally i really don't so i made it sharp and there weren't there are a lot of tutorials on how to make sharp bends just with like that super easy part at the beginning where they were rugged but there are not many tutorials and tell you how to do the subdivision and the weighting and stuff. So, yeah, I thought I'd just help you guys out and make this for you guys. So, obviously, you're going to want you're gonna want to do that for all the limbs and stuff. But for tutorial's sake, I'm just, I only did one because it's, it's already been pretty long of recording. But, yeah, if you liked it, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you guys want me to do next time. Um... It will help me out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.